Welcome to Uppington's most listened to radio station, Radio Riverside 98.2 FM. Radio Riverside is a community radio broadcasting in a radius of plus minus 45 kilometers to towns in and around Uppington daily. We broadcast in Afrikaans, English, Isitosa and Setswana to a weekly cumulated listenership of 80,000 according to the latest radio audience measurement survey. It is in this survey that Radio Riverside increased its listenership with over 36% from 59,000 to 80,000. This figure tells a story of a massive community support enjoyed by Radio Riverside in Uppington and surrounding areas as it represents almost 80% of the total population of our broadcast area. The station is on air 24-7 with a variety of cultural, religious, talk, musical, news, etc. with a mission to provide information on community issues and a forum where all the people living in Uppington and surrounding areas can interact and discuss issues relevant to them without fear or prejudice. An instrument where social and cultural values of the communities of Uppington are promoted and passed between generations and a place where young people are given an opportunity to learn and develop. It is the vision of Radio Riverside to be one of the best community radio stations in South Africa. A radio station that community members go to and rely for information on local issues. A radio station that is managed well. It has well-trained staff and generates an income level which is sufficiently high to pay its staff a living wage and meet all its operational costs. With skilled staff and good quality equipment, the radio station has the capacity to produce and flight good quality programs. In these operations and interactions with community members and stakeholders, Radio Riverside is guided by a number of values. Being inclusive of all cultures and communities served by the radio station, this includes respect for all people, irrespective of age, gender and social status in the community, keeping the doors of Riverside open to all people, being non-sexist and non-racial. We maintain integrity in all what we do. This includes being honest and truthful in reporting, being objective on issues that are covered on air, maintaining confidentiality, and providing balanced approach on issues. Being transparent and accountable to the community, board and other stakeholders, this will include being responsible in the use of resources, providing accurate information and account of the activities of the radio station, avoiding conflict of interest situation. And lastly, we maintain professionalism. This includes being committed to the work of the radio station, being disciplined, being innovative, and being reliable and focused to the work of the radio station. These values, the mission and vision of Radio Riverside, define what Radio Riverside is. The station has 41 staff members and 11 board members. The board is elected at biannual general meeting by the community through community organizations. Radio Riverside has introduced improved structures and enabled the board to properly discharge its onerous responsibilities. Certain responsibilities of the board have been delegated to board committees. The creation of committees does not reduce the director's responsibility and therefore all committees report and make recommendations to the board. Subcommittees make the board's task easier and actions faster. Committee members can meet more often, do more homework and then report back to the board at large with findings and recommendations or with results. The board is responsible for managing the organization. It is also responsible for monitoring performance and ensuring compliance and perhaps, more importantly, reviewing or setting the Radio Riverside strategic direction. Radio Riverside continuously improves its board skills capacity to allow for an important role in providing advice about the organization's strategy. Finance and Evaluations Committee. Generally, the committee oversees the adequacy of the Radio Riverside's accounting system and internal control environment, confirming audit plans and final audit reports. Staff Development and Disciplinary Committee. This committee provides input in the development of systems and training programs at the radio station. Stakeholder Relations and Sustainable Development Committee. 
The board should take account of the legitimate interests and expectations of its stakeholders in its decision making in the best interest of the organization. The committee ensures that complete, timely, relevant, accurate, honest and accessible information is provided by the organization to its stakeholders whilst having regard to legal and strategic considerations. The station has successfully implemented the following projects. Radio Riverside has reached an agreement with Uppington College to provide bursaries to 15 deserving young people to continue their studies in marketing management, management assistant and financial management courses. The project started in 2001 and more than 100 young people has already benefited from this project. Radio Riverside, Media Training Center for Youth and Commonwealth of Learning and other local stakeholders are currently working on an open and distance learning project that will lead to behavioral change with regards to HIV and AIDS. The project uses community radio as one vehicle through which to provide HIV and AIDS education to the local community, but is essentially a multi-channel approach that issues other communication strategies such as print, mobile, phones and email messaging. This is a project that Radio Riverside uses to expand its HIV and AIDS education program. In 2005, Radio Riverside piloted a training project for the youth in radio broadcasting and created an internal training unit at the station. The project later received support from the Department of Education in the Sianda District, the local municipality, and currently the project is fully funded by the AIDS Foundation of South Africa. The project has theory of air training and practice where the station hand over the reins on June 16 every year for exhilarating youth programs prepared and produced by the youth for the youth. The objectives of this project are to assist the development of youth broadcasting to define youth production for Uppington with young people involved at all stages of the productions and address youth radio broadcast training needs and production opportunities. We are currently doing productions with the support of MDDA around two thematic focus areas, service delivery and crime prevention. This project is making use of two formats, the documentary format and the drama. The objective behind using these formats is delivering high quality programs to the radio station's listeners. To cover relevant government issues in a factual and balanced manner, to encourage and to show the importance of effective communication by government institutions to involve communication in problem solving and decision making on issues facing the region, to make communities aware of government services and programs, and to challenge wrongdoing and corruption in government. Radio Riverside works with the Financial Services Board to promote consumer financial education. The project uses radio programs and outside broadcast events and competitions to carry out the project. This project was started in 2000. The project collects teddy bears, clothes and toys and distributes them to needy children. This project was initially known as Radio Riverside Teddy Bear Drive, presented by Dickie Mateis and the late fan Titus Beekers. From 2001, the project collected not only teddy bears, but also clothes and toys. The committee was also increased to four people. For the past five years, more than 5,000 packages have been distributed as gifts to children from the following areas. Godonia Hospital, Uppington Prison, Eikoms, Karos, Leerkrans, Strausburg, Louisville Road, Raswater, Sesbre, Matekerskamp, Progress, Pabalelo, Rosedale, Camus and Vertrai. Radio Riverside participated in the audience research project to assist radio stations to understand formative target listener research and enable them to conduct such research. The idea was to assist especially community radio to stimulate participation in programs with their listeners. The research was conducted in partnership with Rose University, Solplaki Institute for Media Leadership and the National Community Radio Forum, NCRF. The research solicited information and feedback on programming from targeted audience. In addition, the research resulted in the release of a 138-page handbook that will assist other community radio stations to focus on development that is relevant to the community. 
we are happy that Radio Riverside is being seen as a station that can be understudied by others for good methods and good practices. Radio Riverside has been the proud host of the National Community Radio Forum Conference in Uppington, which took to review the progress made by the sector since the advent of community radio more than 15 years ago. The conference also took critical decisions on community radio position to what was known as the PSB Bill, Public Service Broadcast Bill, and made submissions to the Minister of Communications. This marks important contribution of Radio Riverside and Uppington to the development of the sector. We have written our name with permanent ink in the history books of community radio in South Africa. The National Community Radio Forum is the biggest forum of community radio broadcasters in South Africa and currently has over 100 member stations and organizations. In December 2009, the National Community Radio Forum elected its new board of director at its conference, Yalton Uppington, and the station manager of Radio Riverside was elected to serve as the director in the national board. The current board introduced a Radio Riverside open forum with the aim to continuously communicate with the listeners about the developments at Radio Riverside. The show started in May 2008 and were based on community engagement and promotion of community participation in a community radio. The station is registered with the Department of Social Development and fully complies with the NPO regulations. The station has a respectable record for compliance with its license conditions with the regulator ICASA and is one of the few radio stations in South Africa registered as an agent of SARS for employee income tax, VAT, and as an institution has a valid tax exemption certificate and continue to satisfy the requirements of the South African Revenue Service.
That's why we are welcoming you today on Road 3 to 6, powered by Appentine Toyota. And on this side of what's happening on Soccer Orlando Party, and that's the unbeaten league run of Super Sports United this season with a 3 0 tramp on Saturday in the highlights of the five South African Premiership matches. Former Black Burn Rover striker Benny McCarthy converted a penalty midway through the first half, and Zambian midfielder Isaac Chansom doubled the lead before half time. Super Sports hopes for a uh, comeback uh, were snuffed out of uh, the four minutes in the, the second half when Ndumiso Mabena completed uh, the scoring for the uh, resentment uh, defeating champions. It was the second league victory in four days uh, for the Buccaneers who confronted a uh, fellow Johannesburg club a bit but best uh, next uh, Saturday in the Telkom Knockout Final. Oh, yeah. I'm going to It is 29 minutes to 9 o'clock. By 5 to 9, I'll be out of here. And between 9 and 12, will be Boom Zaza taking care of business on Masfunde Sane. But also remember, guys, that the Uppington Summer Fiesta is coming up. So you got to be there. Sir. Tickets are selling for 70 bucks. And it's going to be taking place at the Island Holiday Resort. We have various national artists that's going to be take uh, that's going to be performing. And then, obviously, Nisha's local DJs will also be here, the likes of... Um, uh, Bo Wei P, uh, can I command this dude? Uh, DJ Blue Boy is also gonna be there amongst others. And then from our national DJs, we will be having the man himself. I think um, the other day I actually thought he was like the most expensive DJ in the country, but compared to Zahara, he's a baby. It is DJ Clear is also gonna be here doing his once and once and twos for us. And the last time he was here was in um, December 2010. And he was an absolutely fabulous performer. He's just a performer of nature, despite the fact that his music is selling like hot cookies. Uh, so he'll also be here. Clock will also be around. Uh, Ernie Smith, Tani Swama Zwai, the Rasa Rebels, and much more. And obviously, my girls, they will be the twins. Clelo Ntando, they'll also be here emceeing the event. So better look out for that. That's going to be on the 17th of December. And then on the 16th, we're going to have the Spin Vibes and the mayoral banquet will be on the 15th so it's three days of absolutely fabulous stuff that's going to be going down in Uppington in case you've just joined good morning and welcome this is the big breakfast brought to you by spur until five minutes to nine right here on the hot frequency and eight point two FM. for more information go to www dot radio riverside dot co dot za or use your cell phone to visit our mobile site at www.radioriverside.mobi Our friendly staff are waiting for your call on 054-332-1775 SMS River followed by your message to 39001